the proud pastor of the Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church of Temple, Texas. In his own way, the right Reverend Dr. C. E. Mays. Why don't y'all give him some love? As This house, Amen. Amen. Pastor Melvin Mayner. Right. Yeah. Amen. Thank All God right. for my friend and my brother across the years. Yes. yes. Certainly, we thank God for my friend also, Pastor Harvey. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Good to see you, man. Yes, and thank God for these preachers who are here sharing with us. Of course. We recognize officers and members of the St. Paul Church Amen. and others who are here within the sound of my voice. Yeah. Uh, there is a word from the Lord. All right. All right. And a talking so I could settle on where I would go. I came with the message, but it looked like I'm trying to jump ship on that one. All right. All right. And uh, I wanted to tune in to make sure. Yes, yes. Uh, what the Lord would do. All right. We invite our attention to Joshua. Glory. Glory. All right. Chapter 6. Listen, listen. It's not the one I came with. All right, all right. Work it out. Work it out. <clears throat> so y'all pray. Yeah, man. All right. Joshua chapter 6 is not right. new news, but hopefully it's good news. Listen, all listen. Go right. Well, right here, man. We're going to read verse 1 in that 6th chapter of the record of Joshua. All right. All right. All right. Joshua 6 and 1. Here we find these inspired, and I hope, inspiring writings. Now Jericho uh -huh. was strictly shut up mm -hmm. because of the children of Israel. Listen, right. listen. Listen. None, none went out and none, none. came in. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You may be seen. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. right. Whether it the flower thereof fadeth, the word of our God shall stand and abide forever. 
Yeah. I'm anchor down in that verse in particular, that story really in general. Talk to us for a few moments from the subject when there is a problem getting to your promise. All right, all right, let's talk. Amen. When when there's a problem, all right, getting to your promise. You know you have the promise. You know God has declared it to be so. Yes, sir. God has spoken it. Yes. And once God says it, wow. you know wow. that it's said. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. a done deal. And, yeah. And God made covenant agreement with you that. I'm going to bless you like this. Like this, right. like this. I'm going right. to bless you like right. that. I have a promise for you. And yeah. And I'm going to see to it that you get that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But what happens when you are right at the doorstep yeah. Yeah. of receiving your promise? Yeah. All right. All right. And that is a barrier in the way of the blessing. All right. All right. Well, there is a problem yeah. getting yeah. to your promise. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we want to look at this thing and hopefully we can help somebody along yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. Joshua and the children of Israel had finished their 40 year journey All right. in the wilderness. Yeah. Yes, right. yes. You do know the story. You yeah. know that yeah. they had gotten this far once before. Yeah. Right. Almost this far. And uh, because of their unbelief, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. God uh, allowed them to wander in the wilderness for 40 years. Yeah. 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 And the doubters died out in the desert. Yeah. 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 Those who were doubters didn't make it back to the promised land. Yeah. 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 Uh, now there is another generation uh -huh. yeah. save for two who were carryovers from the previous generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caleb and Joshua, yeah, yeah. they were still around because they believed in God. Yeah, 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 they trusted yeah, yeah. in God. Yeah. They, they had faith enough to stand on the promises of God. Yeah, yeah. Now that they have finished their 40 year journey yeah. and they have crossed the Jordan River. Listen, yeah. listen. The wow. Jordan River at first seemed to be an obstacle, uh, but, yeah, yeah. But, but God parted that water like he did the Red Sea. Oh, yeah. 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 And they walked across the Jordan yeah, into yeah, yeah, yeah. promised land territory. Yeah. 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 They are in fact in promised land territory. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But on the way to possessing the land, uh -huh. they encounter this problem. All right. yeah. There's an obstacle in their path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They run up against Jericho with its walls around this city. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Right. Jericho is a fortified city. These walls are not thin, small walls. They are thick, large walls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Most would say these walls are impenetrable. You cannot get through them. And yeah, they yeah. had an advantage by being on their wall. They could yeah. see you coming from miles around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here are the children of Israel. They have wondered. They have walked. They have worried. They have gotten weary and yeah, here they are yeah. now yeah. we are here and we are in promised land territory yeah. but yeah. now look we got a deal with Jericho yeah. 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 Uh, there's a problem it was an unmovable problem it was an unsolvable problem yeah. it was a powerful 
a problem directly in their path and it seemed undefeatable yeah. to the children of Israel. Anybody ever yeah, been yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had a problem that seemed like it could not be solved. You had a problem that seemed like it was unmovable. You had a situation or some circumstances that, that seemed like they were getting the best of you instead of you getting the best of them. You, you are the child of God and you know God promise you yes, that he will see you through. You're standing on the promise of God's yeah, word yeah. and yet you come up against this obstacle. You come up against this wall, this yeah. barrier, this, yeah. this situation that you don't have the strength to deal with in and of yourself. What do you do when there's a problem getting to yeah. your promise? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you asked. Yeah, 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 yeah. When we face an unsolvable problem, well, one like this city that secure, securely set, shut up, we must realize that God alone can solve it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are about three, four things, so I'm going to share with you in this little message, then I'm going to be through. Are you interested? Come, come, come. You got the picture. You got the picture. You got the picture. They are at the wall. We know the story of Joshua and the battle of Jericho. You know the story. But now, here we are with Joshua and Israel. Here, here we are. You, you have joined this band. You have joined these people. We are with them. We are ready to go with them into the promised land. And just like they saw, we see this wall in our way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first thing you got to do is you got to struggle with your wall. The first thing I got to tell you, you got to struggle with your wall. You cannot deny that there is a wall. Yeah. You cannot deny that there is a problem. The first thing in dealing with the problem is admitting that you got one. Yeah. 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 You don't have a witness. Yeah. 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 Don't, 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 don't try to be so holy yeah. Yeah. and so heavenly minded yeah. to you say it ain't nothing. Yeah. Just because you're a Christian don't mean that it's not a problem. You, yeah. you ain't all of that. You yeah. got to recognize yeah. that I've got a problem yeah. that You gotta meet it face on. You gotta meet it head on. You you, you can't walk away. You can't skirt around it. You can't deny it. You gotta tackle your problem. Help me, somebody. You gotta tackle your problem. And how do you struggle when you get to your wall? Well, you struggle in prayer. Prayer will do some things. Do I have a witness here? You, you, you gotta learn a situation that's beyond your control when you get in some circumstances that you don't have the strength to handle that your strength is too small you got to learn how to put it in hands that are bigger than your hands you have a witness here you, 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 you got to pray what they did was they circled that thing with prayer you have a witness here when you pray something bound to happen when you pray prayer will change things prayer will do something prayer with God, but God interprets your situation. And when God gets in touch with your situation, he'll work on it, work in it, work with it, until he works it out for your good. Anybody know that prayer works? Anybody know that prayer will do something? I tell people all the time, let me say it here, when you pray, you're in touch with three words. Prayer goes up to God and worship, goes out to the world and work, goes down to Satan and warfare. the children of Israel got to this wall and I got a sneaky suspicion if you don't mind if I use my sanctified imagination that Joshua had to steal away and talk to the Lord about this situation. I believe Joshua prayed in this struggle with the wall. He said I can't handle this wall. I know I got a whole lot of folk with me and all of together can't handle this wall. This wall is too much for us. This wall 
world is too big for us. Yeah. This world is too steady and strong for us. But I know somebody. I know somebody who can handle this world. I know somebody who can give me what I need to make it to where he told me he wanted me to go. God sent me to it. So God has to get me through it. God have a witness. Somebody need to know whatever God lead you to, he's going to send you through. Yeah. Have I got a witness? Yeah. And so Joshua had to pray in his struggle. With, when you're struggling and somebody looking at me now is struggling with some wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're struggling with some barrier. You're struggling with some blockade. You're struggling with some situation. You're struggling with some circumstance. You're struggling with some problem. You're struggling with some burden. You're struggling with some storm. You're struggling with some adverse circumstance. Some contrary wind just keeps on blowing in your life. You've yeah. done all you know to do. You yeah. rack your brain. You yeah. reach to the bottom of the barrel and still came up short. You can't do anything else. What do you do next when you don't know next what to do? When you're struggling like that, the only thing you can do is put it in the hand of the Lord. I got a witness here. When you put it in God's hand, it's going to be alright. Have got a witness here. You don't have to take my word for it. Somebody sitting close to you can tell you when you put it in God's hand, it's going to be all right. The first thing you got to do is struggle with the wall. But then uh, if, you, if you talk to God in prayer, he'll give you a strategy yeah. for your warfare. All right, all right. Have we got a witness here? He, he'll give you a strategy for your war, warfare. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he gave Joshua a strategy to deal with this wall. He, 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 he gave him a battle plan. He, he, he gave him a plan of action. Now, now, it didn't make sense, but he gave it to Joshua. And Joshua, being the obedient servant of God that he was, said, I'm going to follow God in spite of uh, the plan that's not making sense to me. God said it, and that settles it. If you wait on him long enough, he'll give you a strategy on how to handle your situation. God will navigate you through your circumstances if you wait on him long enough. If you don't take off on your own, if you just be still somewhere, you'll know that he is God. God will give you what you need to handle know your circumstances. Joshua, here's what I want you to do. I want you to get these people together and I want you to march around that wall every day for six days. Just get them together, Joshua, and march around the wall one time. Send them home and on the next day do it again. I want you to do that for six days. Now, Joshua, on the seventh day, I got another plan for you. But I need for you to do plan one first. I, I need you to do A when I give you B later. Go have a witness here. Don't you worry about what the end's going to be. You just do what God said do right now. See, our problem is when we can't see the end result, we want to balk on God. When we can't see where God is leading, we want to sit down. And the first thing, I can't see it. He didn't ask you to see it. He just asked you to do it. If you do it, after a while, he'll let you see it. You don't have a witness here. Quit trying to see everything up front. Just follow God now. And God will lead you to your victory. You don't have a witness here. My sanctified imagination. I can see Josh Joshua mulling this thing over. He didn't think long. He said, well, God gave it to me. Yeah. I know God gave it to me. I know his voice. Yeah. I know how he leads me. I've been working with him yeah. for a long time. Yeah, it's God. It's God. Yeah. 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 I've got to do what God told me to do. Yeah. And so he goes and calls people together. Now, y'all get a good night's rest because we got some work to do tomorrow. Now, yeah. God gave me a plan to deal with this situation. We gonna get to our promise if we follow God's plan. They got up that morning excited, all enthusiastic. They got together, Joshua to said, y'all line up now. Y'all go ahead and line up now. Y'all y'all line up now. Come on, come on, line up. Preach, y'all get up in the front. Y'all, y'all preach, y'all get in the front. Y'all, y'all get some musicians up here. Y'all line up 
now and, and, and forward march and they marched around that wall one time when they got to back to the starting point Joshua said all right knock off and go home <laughs> Well, what we gonna do, Joshua? Go on to the house. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next morning, Joshua got them together, forward mark one more time, and yeah. got back to the starting point, knock off and go home. Yeah, yeah. I'm at now for two or three days, somebody start talking, yeah. Some, yeah. somebody start complaining, some, yeah. some, somebody start murmuring, yeah. somebody start spreading some stuff. He told them, tell the people, don't say nothing. I don't yeah. want them to talk. I don't want them to say nothing. Just mark. But you know how we are. The thing you tell us not to do, that's the very thing we gon' try to do. We're gonna have a witness here. And so they must have been talking. I eavesdropped on a couple of them. And I heard them, I heard them, I said, I'm looking at them. They're hard headed. And God told them not to say that. Now they're trying to talk to one another. Think can't nobody hear them. I hear them. I hear them. I hear them. I hear them. Well, what's wrong with Joshua? Joshua done lost his mind. Joshua done lost it, and then you, you, you that same way, don't think yeah. too hard to these folks. Yeah, I've yeah, dropped on your conversation a time or two. Yeah. What's wrong with Pastor Maynard? He done lost his mind. Yeah. Well, well, what is he telling us to do this for? Don't make sense. I can't see it. I can't understand it. And sometimes you can't understand it because God don't give you the understanding. He just gives you the leader, and he tells the leader to tell you the plan. And when you follow the plan, God will bless you. You might not understand that, but that's the way it is. That's the way it is in the book. If you just read the record, have I got a witness here? That's how it happens all the way through the wilderness. And the Lord spake unto Moses. And the Lord said unto Moses. And the Lord spake unto Moses. You read it in the book, Exodus chapter 3, all the way to chapter 14. The first and the Lord spake unto Moses. And the Lord said all the way through. He gives it to the and when Moses spoke to the people and they did what God said, they were all rejoicing and shouting. You can rejoice when you follow God's plan. Have got a witness here? So they murmured and complaining, but that was the strategy for the warfare. They didn't need any weapons. They didn't know anything about any weapons. God was not going to shock them to get you some stones and make you some arrows and some spears. They didn't know anything about that. They've been in bondage for over 400 years in Egypt. They didn't have any weapons. I'm not going to put a weapon in their hand and they can't use them. I know what they can do. They can obey commands. Some will tell Joshua, give them the command to march around the wall. They marched around. You don't mind again if I use my sanctified imagination. While they're marching, another thing you need to realize uh, when you got a problem getting to your promise uh, is there's a season of waiting. Yeah. You'll have a witness. Now, not only is there a struggle at the wall, but and there's a strategy for the wall, but there's a season of waiting. You see, when they marched the first day, nothing happened. When they marched the second day, nothing happened. When they marched the third day, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Season of waiting. Somebody here need to learn how to wait on the Lord. Isaiah wants you to tell them that they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They'll mount up with wings as eagles. Run and not be weary. Walk and not faint. When you wait, you win. When you wait, you're not wasting time. But God will stop by after a while. You know what Big Mama said. He might not come when you want him, but it's always right on time. I wonder if I got a witness here. But the children of Israel, even though they don't understand, they're following God's plan. They're following the strategy for the war. But they're also in a season of waiting because it takes a little time for God to do some things. And let me drop this in on you. Sometimes God don't do it in a hurry. Not because he's getting your blessing ready for you, but he's getting you ready for your blessing. Do I have a witness here? now and then we want some blessings and God really want to give 
them to us, but we don't know we ain't ready for them. If he gives them to us too soon, we'll mess him up. So God got to get us ready to be able to handle our blessings. Do I have a witness yet? That's why you're in a season of waiting. Have I got a witness? I remember flying a flight to a meeting one time. And before we could get down, the pilot comes over. And may I have your attention, please? We've got some turbulence up ahead. And I've got information from the tower that we need to circle around. And we can't go in and land. And so we're going to go into a holding pattern. Do I have a witness? And every now and then, we have a holding pattern. And a holding pattern don't mean that you won't get fat. It just means you got to wait a while. Do I have a witness? But after we waited a while, here he comes and says, I got a clearance from the town. Steward is prepared for arrival. Put your seat backs upright. Buckle your seat belts. Put everything up under your chair. We're going in for a landing. Every now and then, God will put you in a holding pattern. That's what's going on with the children of Israel while they marching around the wall. It's a season of waiting. It's a holding pattern. Have I got a witness? And they march around for six long days. But here comes God with the final thrust on the seventh day. He said, Joshua, I got to modify the plan. Joshua, I need to tell you today you got to march around this wall seven times on the same day that's why I march him six times once every day you didn't have the strength to do it up front and so I let you feel your muscles so you can handle it on the seventh day and every now will allow you to go through some stuff uh, to build your spiritual muscles uh, because ain't no further on up the road uh, you gonna need your strength uh, to handle uh, a greater assignment uh, you will have a witness uh, sometimes uh, you have a trouble over here uh, don't get all upset uh, God knows that there's greater trouble up ahead uh, and the songwriter says uh, each victory will help you uh, some other to win to yeah. have a yeah. witness yeah. and so now that you know you got strength to march around this wall six times we gonna do it all day and give me one extra have I got a witness every now and then you gotta push yourself a little bit harder to be hold of your promise have I got a witness so here they are on the seventh day around the wall and Joshua when you get around on this seventh time I want you to have a praise party have I got a witness when you get around on this seventh time you need to make some noise you need to play some music you need to shout have I got a witness when when you do what I say you will see the victory. Let me tell somebody when the Lord gives you a strategy for your warfare, when He gives you strength to struggle with your wall, when you go through your season of waiting, and when the Lord comes through for Him, you ought to have the sense to shout. Have a battle in this. You ought to have the sense to worship Him. After the seventh time, they shouted and the wall came tumbling down. Somebody here made it through. Somebody here, you got over. Somebody here, God saw that you did it. Somebody here, you weren't supposed to be here, but God saw you through. Yeah.